You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your latest prediction edition for the CBS Soap Opera. I have got five thrilling and sizzling prediction, and these are, as always, based on official YNR spoilers. I'm going to tell you the predictions, tell you what I think is going to happen And then I'm going to tell you the spoilers that it's based on so you can see where I'm coming from. I look forward to your comments, whether you agree, disagree, have a totally different idea. That's great. I love this conversation about the soap operas. Please drop your comments when you are done listening and definitely click subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's jump right in. My first prediction, I think Jack is going to try to get Kyle to go back to Newman Media to help Nikki Newman. So on Monday's episode, Nikki fires Audra and it's really sketchy. She basically fires Audra because Audra knows she is an alcoholic who has fallen off the wagon. Audra has been nothing but supportive to her, but like a lot of alcoholics do, and I say this because my dad, granddad, and uncle were alcoholics, um, alcoholics don't like people around who know that they're addicts. They tend to cut people out of their life because if they don't look at somebody who knows that they're an addict, then they can kind of stay in denial. This is whoever's writing this for YNR. I feel like they have an alcoholic in the family and they totally get this because it's, it's very accurate in very many ways. So after she fires Audra for not agreeing to take a job in London for a year because she knows she wants her out of the way, then Nikki's kind of in a panic and she tells Jack she's in over her head. Jack's trying to suggest some people that could come in to help her. He throws out Sally's name. I think maybe Adam's Nate's name, but I think he's actually going to go with Kyle. So the spoilers that relate to this on Monday, Jack tells her that he's got an idea of, of who can help her, but he doesn't name names. And then on Wednesday, Kyle has to defend what he does at work. So I suspect that Jack is going to come to him and go, look, will you do me this favor? Will you go back to Newman Media for a while? I think Jabot will be fine without you, which if that is what he says, that's kind of insulting. So maybe Kyle is having to say, no, look, I do important stuff here. You can't just unplug me and plug me in over there to help Nikki. But to be fair, Kyle also did work there before. It was only the thing with him and Audra dating that was an issue for Nikki. But with Audra being gone, Kyle could come in. You know, oh my gosh, that would rub Audra the wrong way if Kyle basically got her job after she got fired. Whew. That'd be fun. And on Tuesday, we have another spoiler saying Diane is worried about Jack being there for Nikki. So maybe, you know, Jack makes this suggestion and Diane doesn't like it. Of course, she'll want Kyle to stay at Jabot. Our second prediction, Daniel suspects Heather played him like a violin. You know, she keeps showing up. She's hitting the right notes. She's saying the right things, but she's also just worming her way deeper and deeper into his life. She's been basically throwing herself at him. I don't think she would be doing any of this if Lily were in town. She's totally taking advantage. And I think he's going to start to realize this. Maybe he's going to start to realize, oh, yeah, maybe I stepped in and shouldn't have done this. Spoilers for next week on Thursday says Daniel faces some facts about Heather. Maybe it's some harsh truths about the way that she is behaving right now. It's pretty sketchy. She's not setting a very good example for their daughter either. My third prediction for YNR is a kid problem for Adam and Chelsea. I think Connor is having some issues. Remember, he's off at boarding school. It was boarding school for kids with some depression, mental health concerns. I'm trying to remember now. Anyway, Mark Grossman shared a behind-the-scenes photo of him and Missy Egan with Judah Mackey, who plays Connor Newman. So he's back on set with them. I feel like that means we're going to see Connor during February sweeps. And then there's a spoiler on Friday of this week saying Billy comforts Chelsea. So I feel like it's something to do 
with their son and maybe there's some drama going on. Maybe he's going to be coming back to Genoa City now that Chelsea is back because Missy Egan, if you remember, was out on maternity leave and that was part of the reason that Connor went off to boarding school. All right, our fourth prediction. I think Ashley Abbott is going to be completely shocked when her investigation in Paris turns up 100% in support of Tucker's version of the argument. So the spoilers, there's a photo that shows Tracy and Ashley. I can't show you the photo, but um, it's definitely happening next week. Tracy and Ashley are talking to a waiter at the cafe in Paris. And if you remember last week, Tucker told her, go, just go, ask around, hear the truth for yourself. And on Thursday, which is the first day of February sweeps, Tracy and Ashley do their investigation. They're asking questions. So my prediction is that everything Tucker said is what Ashley is told. So I think she's shocked and she's questioning her sanity. What I'm wondering, and I actually did a standalone video on this, is whether Tucker has bribed these people to mess with her head and tell lies. I'm hoping because Tracy is there with her to be the voice of reason that maybe Tracy notices something. Like, even if there's a room full of witnesses, say 10 people all see something happen, all 10 people aren't going to say the exact same thing. You know, someone's going to see it from this angle and through this perception, and they're going to say this. Person B is going to say something else. You know how it goes. So if they are all saying the exact same thing, you know, without any variation or deviation, that's a red flag that they're kind of reading off a script of notes. Maybe Tracy will notice that, but I do think Ashley is going to be shocked and think, oh, okay, Tucker was telling the truth, but I'm not entirely sure that he was. I just think he might be messing with her head. Our fifth and final prediction for this YNR prediction edition, I think Jordan Howard is going to come for Claire first. So the spoilers related to this on Tuesday, Victor gets stunning news. He finds out there was a fire at the jail where Jordan was being held. Victoria wonders if she's dead or on the loose. Well, clearly she's on the loose. Melody Thomas Scott already leaked some info that Colleen Zank was back in sweeps and has some more scenes. I feel like Claire might be someone easier for her to get to because she's at a hospital. She's not at like a, a standalone facility. She's in the mental ward of a hospital. And with Jordan's past as a nurse, she would easily be able to slip in and get to her. And I think if she can get her hands on Claire, like she did last time when she was able to lure Nikki, then I think she's going to kind of rinse and repeat and do the same thing. Get a hold of Claire, use her to draw the other ones into danger. And we also have next week a spoiler where... Paul and Victoria specifically decide to withhold the information from Claire that Jordan may be out and on the loose. So Claire doesn't know to be on high alert. And that's why I think that she might get gotten first by the big bad wolf who's coming back and sweeps. All right, that is everything I have for you for this prediction edition. Drop your comments below. If you think things are going to go a different way, tell me what you think. I love talking soaps with you guys and hearing your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon because we're here talking YNR seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>